What's up, everybody? It's your boy Chris. I get Mr. 54540 TV in the building. Listen, man, I'm doing pretty much an update on my Tahoe. First, I do want to say my Tahoe has probably been the best truck I've owned. Um, and also, dealing with my YouTube channel, my Tahoe has given me the most views. Um, if you haven't uh, checked out any of my repairs on my Tahoe, make sure you go through my videos um, and check out my videos. Check them out. I think one of my videos got like 20k views on which is crazy um, for a beginner youtuber you know what I'm saying I guess everybody kind of like me working on my Tahoe but this is just an update video on my Tahoe now lately I have not been driving my Tahoe as much but um, I haven't really been doing anything really to it cleaning it or anything um, so it has I guess gotten a couple issues here and there that I gotta take care of because I want to get my Tahoe back into where people was like, damn, that's crazy. That all black, matte black Tahoe. Now it's, you know, my Tahoe's dirty. Which I'm going to show you, I'm going to show you some other stuff that I got going on with it that I got to get fixed. And I'm going to show you some stuff that I am going to update. Um, I got some parts on the way now that I just ordered today for my Tahoe. So I'm going to try to get it together or whatever. But um, look, let's get into the Tahoe. Um, So here's the Tahoe that everybody loves on my channel. Let it focus a little bit. But yeah, um, so this is my Tahoe, my 08 Chevrolet Tahoe. And as I go around, you can pretty much see a lot of imperfections and see this mad dirty, like mad dirty. Um, so let's talk about some of the stuff i am going to change some of the stuff i need to fix um so first off um i don't know if y'all remember or actually matter of fact go to my video go within my videos you'll see where i installed this go rhino bar here and it's been great i mean no real issues with it other than i do need to replace the screw the screw that was here is now missing so that need to be replaced um, at the bottom here the rubber this part here need to be fixed which that's easy because it just goes around this part here so that's nothing um, but as you can see how much I've kind of let my Tahoe go I mean it's crazy um, but we're gonna get her back right most definitely all right, on to the next thing. So we had like a hurricane that came down, the touchdown or whatever, in our area. And I had just like opened up my backyard, cut trees down and limbs and stuff. So some of the limbs had um, kind of got up in the air from the uh, hurricane and did some damage to my Tahoe. So as you see here, this is some of the damage, as you can see that and i got a couple of scrapes up the side of my vehicle also so i might need to do like a, either a buff or as you see right there all up the side either buff it out or probably just get it repainted i'm thinking about just getting it repainted or even think about just getting a new color i don't know i don't know the black go hard though so might just leave it the color it is. Who knows? I got a lot of plans for the Tahoe, so we're really gonna do it up this time. I'm gonna go ahead and take it to get clean today. Try to bring it back to life a little bit. All right, so let's go to our next thing. So this bracket here was actually an LED bracket. Um, and it's a while ago that I got my car, my truck washed and I took it through a um like a car wash the one you know that that moves your truck or your car by itself you know you put it in neutral or whatever and it knocked my bar off and messed it up but i got that side fixed and i gotta fix that also that's another thing this um let's see if i can zoom in on it my antenna thing here but i never took this bar off it's just always been up there i mean i need to take it off and of course there's gonna be holes there so I'm gonna patch that hose up 
or whatever and see you know what it looked like from there but I mean that should be a simple fix I guess I might just kind of bundle over that and fix those holes there um if you got any ideas make sure you go to the comment section and um you know send me some ideas what you think I can use to fix that because soon I remove these screws it's gonna be a big hole there so I definitely want to get that fixed I mean I don't want the bracket up there anymore I already got the bracket on the front on the rhino gear I mean the rhino um, bar so that's good enough for me um so yeah so here's this side the guy who painted it did a decent job on um, covering it up so I mean I might just take it back to him let him do it well, who knows all right our next thing that we are going to fix is I want to switch out this hood well this is going to be more of an upgrade um, this hood has a little bit of damage well a little it's like a little indention there but I don't like this hood it's just too basic so I think I want to do something a little different with the hood get one with like the hood scoop I'm sure that's gonna look dope some crazy hood scoop there but so that's pretty much all I want to do with the hood all right for the next thing um I actually a while back well a while ago I said a while back whatever that is a while ago um I had got some mud tires and like I had to take out the uh, wheel what's it, what's it called the wheel guard the splash guard I don't know what you want to call it um, the wheel wheel they are like some black plastic pieces that go under there to kind of stop water from going up so I had to take those out and I just never put them back like I just have never put them back and you see there where I cut out there so I do want to get some new wheel wells to put in there and you see this one is broken like that's that's just crazy it's like I mean my truck should not be there you see the uh, front bumper it's like out and sometimes I just gotta get it in knock it in there that's not supposed to be like that so I'm sure it's just a boat or something that's kind of holding it that holds it down so this should be a simple fix um the wheel well should be a simple fix I really don't know how much exactly how much it costs to get the wheel wells but that's something I have to look up all right now next to our next issue so my next issue is gonna be my rims I think I want to upgrade my rims to something else these are 24 I rock rims as you can see I got some curve damage there but that's nothing I mean that's just a simple uh, paint now this cap actually had came off and so I had to order a new cap so I don't have the Chevy logo so whatever I do um, if I don't switch the rims out and just keep the rims I just pretty much need to get them repainted or well, sand down repaint it and the actual logo that goes on the front driver's side and I will be good to go but I'm thinking about upgrading man I mean you see this whole area here like I probably could fit some at least some 26s on here these are 24s or maybe some 28s maybe I might just upgrade to some 28s I don't think I have to do any lift but I will look that up but I just might upgrade to some 28s man all right so the next issue we have is up here on my roof as you see that there's an opening the gasket has I don't know if the gasket has moved or the actual glass moved but there's an opening so when it rains the water gets on the inside of my roof which I will show you that also and it this causes like a discoloration also too you smell like the water smell on the inside of the truck and I do not like that at all I try to put up some um what's that little spray in the it's like a spray like a sealant spray I try to use a sealant spray it did not work so you can see my ugly work there so the sealant spray did not work so let's check out the inside here 
And you see the discoloration of the carpet? That's due to the water leaking in. And the ceiling has like a little tint to it. So again, I have slightly let my truck go a little bit, but I'm gonna definitely bring it back to life. All right, so our next um, thing is my radio. Now, I don't have an issue with this radio, honestly, but I think I'm just tired of it. I might just upgrade to something even bigger is what I might end up doing. Um, and y'all like, what? This is a big enough radio, but I think I wanna upgrade to something different. And also too, the um, vinyl wrap I got here. Either I want to clean it up or go back to the wood grain. I don't know. I'm thinking about going back to the wood grain. But that's that's pretty much what the inside um, just need to be cleaned up. The carpet needs to be shampooed like bad, bad. Seats need to be cleaned, door panels. Um, and actually the back window needs to be fixed. That does not, um, it, it doesn't go down at all. But I think it's my panel over here. I think my, I think that's the issue with Tahoe's. The panel gets wet over here and it started to short out. So I'm gonna just order that panel and see if that fixes my issue. Then if it doesn't, then I kind of know what the issue is. Cause that panel is not expensive at all. So. Um. Nothing really needs to be done to the back, really. I took the back seat out. I just need to be cleaned out, honestly. Um, everything else is pretty much good to go. As you see right here, like that's not supposed to be like that. I don't even know what that goes to, but I mean the actual um, sunroof is still, itself still work, but yeah. So y'all kind of see all my issues. I got my Tahoe. My um, rack is still holding up pretty well. No issues there. All right, so for the back, I do need to replace this part, which is my windshield wiper. I am gonna replace the windshield wiper. Also to get a little sandpaper and kind of clean this up. I definitely need to clean it up a little bit on both sides because I did have my turn signals um, here, but I removed them and I placed them some new ones back down here. I like those better. That definitely needs to be uh, repainted and fits there. I know y'all like could like, what did I do to my Tahoe? Like what did I do to my Tahoe? And I'm saying literally the same thing, like why did I let it get to this point? I mean, it still drives fine and everything. Oh yeah, here's another update. Um, I did just order um, some new mirrors, but I ordered the tow mirrors with the indication, turn indication on the back. And the mirrors actually are going straight up. They're kind of the big ones. Y'all know what I'm talking about. And you can actually move them out or you can move them up and down. So I think I'm gonna definitely love that. I've been looking at those for a while. They are not expensive at all. I think I paid like 160. Yeah, about 160 for both mirrors. Easy install. I mean, piece of cake. Yeah. Look, the more I look at it, I think I'm gonna actually keep my Tahoe black, matte black. And I might just take it to the guy and let him touch it up. I think I am gonna switch um my headlights out and for this thing here i'm gonna put that below that actually when i do my turn signal a light goes that way and keep going like that simultaneously so i'm gonna actually put this and let it do on the bottom instead of the top so i think that'll be dope but and i am gonna get some led lights for the bottom fog lights but other than that, man, I think that's pretty much it, man. I might get a little decal that goes up there on my roof rack also. But here is my famous 
<laughs> Matt Black Tahoe. Again, man, this Tahoe has gotten me a lot of views on YouTube. So, and it looks like y'all like this type of stuff, the mechanic type of stuff, upgrading cars and stuff. So, I'm gonna probably stick with that for a little while, spend some money here and there, and get my Tahoe back to the point where, I mean, I'm back in love with it. Right now, it looks like, it's like a, it's not a stepchild, but you know what I'm saying. Like, I just let it go. I just really haven't done it to it. And it's too dirty, but. And excuse all the noise, I'm right here behind the post office, so they just be revving and blowing their horns for no reason. But again, look, man, thanks for y'all watching the video. Make sure y'all like and subscribe, comment, hit the post notification bell, so you get all notifications every time I upload. And make sure y'all join the 540 game, man. Also, too, follow me on Instagram at 540TV. You can follow me on Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, uh, Facebook. Everything is 540TV. Type that in and you'll be sure to find me. Make sure y'all follow me, man. Keep up. I'm going to definitely start posting some um, pictures of my truck and also my slingshot. Uh, I got some videos of my slingshot. So if you haven't seen the videos of my slingshot, Make sure you go to my page. Also, my videos. I got a couple of videos of my slingshot, me taking delivery of it. Um, but y'all haven't seen it since. I've done so much work to it. And I will definitely make a video on that if y'all want to. Uh, make sure you like the video, man. Like the video. All right, I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.